Hey YouTube, it's Reed Poppy and it is the day after Beltane. It's May 2nd and I just wanted to pop in with a little um, video and say hey. Um, again, thanks for the, the response to the last video. It took me for fucking ever to get that thing uploaded and I believe this one's probably going to do the same because YouTube's taking forever and my webcam uh, well, I am not so sure if it's either my webcam or my computer that's taking a shit on me. So, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so what I wanted to actually talk about today is my thoughts. Uh, it came up in a group, I, I think, I don't remember if it was a Facebook or a Tumblr or something. And I wanted to talk about my thoughts on um, doing spells that uh, you find on the internet, like, or in books. Um, there's been a lot of talk, uh, around the uh, witchy sphere about spell work lately anyways, and like how they work and what makes them work. And so, um, somebody was saying, uh, somebody had posted, oh, well, uh, somebody had posted, well, you know, I found this spell that I want to do and, you know, whatever, whatever. And somebody else posted, well, you should never do a spell that you find on the internet or that somebody else wrote. Um, and I kind of, I kind of don't agree with that. Um, and there, you know, it was one of those times where, you know, I'm trying not to let my fingers, um, and my brain just go flying off the keyboard, whatever. So, I like to just, you know, give you my thoughts. A spell, t so the components of a spell to me are like a recipe, okay? You, you take, you, you so say for example, you find a spell you want to do, a money spell, okay? And it says you need a green candle, you need, um... I don't know, cloves, you need um, cinnamon, whatever. You, you, you need things, okay? And there's a list of things that you need, according to the spell. And then it tells you the process of how to perform that spell. Um, it's just like when you, uh, you know, do a recipe. Oh, okay, I need a half pound of chicken and um, a fourth cup of onion and you know, whatever, um, do this for 20, you know, cook it for this long and chop it up, call it good. To me, that's what it, that's what it, that's what it's like to me. Okay. Is you're doing a recipe. Now, here's where I say, here's where I disclaimer or whatever. Read it first. Make sure it's something that resonates with your values the end result is something that you actually want and make it your own literally make it your own well you know oh god I don't have um money drawing incense <laughs> and I have a little ironic story about that later um so either make your own incense or just use what you got. If you've got a stick of Nag Champa, use that. Um, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, just write down, you know, if you if you do write down your, your spells and whatnot that you perform, write down what you did. Um, write down the spell and then write down what you did that way you have it, uh, note, you know, noted so you can go back and look at it later. Um, if you do that kind of thing. And all is well. You know, I mean... <laughs> That's why authors put books, I mean, authors put books out with spells in them. So people who might be new or might be whatever can try these things that these people have tried and worked for them. They can put their own spin on them and, and, and make them work for themselves. Um... Now, you know, that's not to say that every spell you find out there is going to be the most, you know, it's going to be something that you're going to want to do. I mean, of course, 
we're all grown up pagans. Well, I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. You know, there's probably some younger ones watching, but I mean, common sense. If it's telling you to eat things that you shouldn't be eating, if it's telling you to do something that is against what you believe, so say for example, if it's telling you to fuck with somebody's free will, you know, like if it's a love spell, for example, I wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't. Um, if it's telling you to, you know, I mean, if it's telling you to do anything you don't feel comfortable doing, don't. That spell isn't for you. Whatever. Just if there are certain components you like, like, oh, you know, it said to roll my candle in this, this, and this, research those properties and see if that fits with what you're actually wanting to do. Call it good. So yeah, that, um, you know, that was just something I wanted to kind of get into. And I want, I, I want to hear everybody else's thoughts on it too. So, um, you know, comment, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, what is your take on it? Um, and, you know, discuss, let's discuss. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I probably should have done the, like what I'm doing beforehand, but you know, I'll get, I'll get the hang of this video thing. So I went to the, um, went to a local, um, pagan shop. Um, I had never been to. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get a couple of things. I don't have much money right now. And, um, so, you know, I, there, I, I, there's some things that I want to do. And, um, so I stopped in and to grab a couple things and I thought it was funny, <laughs> you know, the irony of not having enough money to purchase the money drawing incense. Yeah. So, you know, that's where I got it in my head. I'm like, fine, you know what? I'll do my own thing which I was going to probably do anyways, but I had just seen this incense and it smelled really good. Um, it smelled really good and it was handmade by the, the people who run the shop, I guess, or whatever. And it smelled really good. <laughs> so I might go back for it later when I'm not broke. But, you know, I, it was just, it was just kind of funny that way. Um, and then as far as, what did I do for Beltane? I... I didn't do a big elaborate ritual and I usually don't right now because I just don't have the space to. So I meditated, um, I spent some time outside in the sun, I made some plans for some things that I want to do, I made dinner, um, you know, and it was nice. It was, it was very, I had a very nice Beltane. Um, one of the things that wasn't <laughs> so nice about my Beltane was I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and um, I'm actually diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes. Uh, so as of tomorrow, Sunday, May 3rd, I am embarking on a journey to lower my blood sugars and lose some weight. I'm going to go back on my low carb diet, which did me well um, when I had started it last year. Um, I quit because I moved in with um, a roommate who, not my current roommate, not anywhere near, no, no not my current roommate. But I worked, I, I moved in with a roommate, it was, it was bad news. Um, sabotaged. <laughs> so, I'm going to start that.